Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Tim Hortons granola bars. I have the salted caramel. This is the double chocolate. The apple fritter. I found these on Amazon. They were $9.95 a box on Amazon, but they're sold in Canada, so that's why they were more expensive. But um, it's interesting because uh, Tim Hortons, they sell soups. They sell breakfast cereals. So you could get the breakfast cereals if you want on um, on um, Amazon. One of these days, I might do that. Uh, they're they're about ten dollars a box. It's very uh, expensive when you order stuff from Amazon. It, like it is. Um, so, but I may do that one of these days. Order the cereal. I don't know. I don't know even know how good it's supposed to be. I think they have like a birthday cake flavor and a chocolate flavor. But I thought these bars we like bars anyway, and uh, it's nice to have bars up in the cabinet so i thought it would be cool to try these so this is the salted caramel it's just prepared in canada peanut free in case you're wondering made with canadian oats these are 120 calories yeah it's not a huge bar it's It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Very oaty as well. I like the flavor of it though. Mm -hmm. I see where they're going with the caramel. I do too. It's, it says chewy granola bar. It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. Just from that one little bite. It's incredibly sweet. The caramel, it's all sweet. It's To me, it's not like that burnt caramel at all. No. It is. It's a very, very sweet, mm -hmm. sweet caramel. And the texture of those oats is really nice, yep. too. I think it'd be very filling, too. Yeah. Whole bar. 120 calories. So, this would be, you would probably compare the size of these to, like, a Quaker, one of those Quaker bars. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit bigger, though, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I really do like that. Yeah, it's very, very good. I would be curious if anybody's watching from Canada... Since I did pay $9.95 a box, I would be curious to uh, know how much they are in Canada. Probably $35. Pro well, I was thinking more like $2.50 or $3. So I'm just curious though. Uh, these are the double chocolate, chocolatey covered granola bars. Um, all of these are peanut free. Uh, now, this one is 140 calories, so it's a little bit higher calorie. It's covered in chocolate. And all of these boxes said new on them. I don't know how new they are. Maybe they're really new and you can't find them anymore. That's why they're so high. That is a little thinner mm -hmm. than that far. This is a 30 gram bar. This is actually 32. No. Yeah. But it is a thinner bar. Mm -hmm. It's not puffed up like no, that. But I tell you what, I like the chocolate coating. Mm -hmm. It's good. I do too. And again, I like the texture. The texture's got a good chew to it. I don't think it's as chewy as the first one. No. But it is chewy. It yeah. does seem thinner to me. I think the chocolate helps break up some of that chewiness. But, but I like the chewiness. So. I do too. And I love that chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love it's the good. chocolate flavor. It's very nice. It's not, it's not milk, but it's not dark. It's just kind of right there in the middle of chocolate. Yeah, those are nice quality. Uh, this last one is apple fritter. I like a good apple bar. Also, these were the only three that I saw on Amazon. So if they have other ones, I would be curious to know, like do they have peanut butter or, you know, or do they have a white chocolate or, um, or are these the only three that they have too? So if you have that information, let me know. Because wow. I looked around before before I ordered, and these were the only three I saw. These these are only 110 calories. They smell like the um, apple cinnamon oatmeal. That's exactly what it smells like. Like the Quaker apple cinnamon oatmeal. It smells really. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a huge bite like mm -mm. that. Before. This is the lowest calorie one. Well, the apple smells really strong. Mm -hmm. Apple pieces. You can tell too. Mm -hmm. That's mm. so tasty. That's good. It's got that sweetness of the apple, but it's got this little hint of tartness from the apple. Mm -hmm. That's really good too. 
And it very, very much reminds me of the apple cinnamon oatmeal. Yeah. If you've ever had that oatmeal, that tastes just like it. Mm -hmm. That that is that flavor. So they did a good job on that. It, it kind of reminds me. I can see where they're going with the apple fruit or the little pies. The mm -hmm. you know flop, mm -hmm. the, the little. That's what it pie. tastes like. I think all these are good. I do too. I don't know if they're worth ten dollars a box. Almost ten dollars a box. That's very expensive. Right. But if you were to get these in the store for even half that, five bucks a piece, I think these are really good. Even if you get them cheaper than that, it'd be even better. Which one would you choose? Um, probably the apple one. Okay. All of the chocolate would be a really close second. Okay. They're they're all very good. They're all very, very good. I would probably choose the salted caramel. <laughs> As your number one. Um, and probably the chocolate is my number two. I yeah. love the apple fritter. It's yeah. delicious. I love apples anyway. It's just not one I would want all the time. Yeah, I see I could eat that every day. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. but yes, these are all winners. So if you can get a hold of them, then, or if you, if you have the money to order them from Amazon and you want to, I just, I was really excited when I saw them. Um, because we don't get any, we get Tim Hortons coffee and you have to kind of go in places like Bed Bath & Beyond to buy Tim Hortons coffee. Um, but we don't get any of the soups or anything like that. So to me, this was really cool to be able to try these. So I hope you all enjoyed it too. And thanks for watching.